so hello there guys and welcome to another video i know it's been a very long time and i do apologize for that but you know i have many things to do and a lot of other kind of work so but here i am and back so in today's video i am talking about something that is uh, what is the purpose about having two turn tables so first off i like to show you my main turntable and that is the rega p1 the planar one um this turntable actually comes with with a rega carbon uh but as you can see here i have a rega elis 2 this is the uh, wait i will show you here this is the rega carbon this is the cartridge that is actually is mounted on on this turntable when you when you uh, buy it <coughs> i i actually have the original box here of the elis now there is a 80 3600L inside here, but this is the Elis 2, the box that it actually came in before. Okay, so <clears throat> the first problem that I had when I wanted to upgrade is, uh, of course, the ant skate. And the ant skate, as you might know, on on the Rega P1 is set. So what I did is, I actually had a video about that. I removed the magnet here and uh, glued this metal part here. And uh, so I can, now I can adjust the anti skate by pulling or push in this magnet. And it works, uh, it works perfectly fine. You can also see here on the uh, weight behind that it's not pushed to the maximum. That is because the Rega Elis 2 uh, want to have a specific tracking force that is 1.75 grams. And then I also have upgraded the platter here. And the reason for that, it was that the original platter was a little wobbly so I found this acrylic platter here I found that one on uh, Amazon and uh, I bought it for I think it cost around 40 40 dollars maybe I, I cannot remember now. maybe and then uh, there was a problem with the uh, with the platter uh, that had made it a little too too uh, too much uh, around three millimeters too uh, too short in the height so the height of this one is actually around three millimeters too short which means that i must compensate this by putting an extra felt mat as you can see here in between mm, and then what i've done with this one is that i put this uh, cleaning brush it has an anti static feature, so when the when you're playing your records, uh, the anti stat will actually go away, and it actually works pretty pretty well. So, what is the main reason for having two turntables? Well, let's say you buy a new record, right? And when you buy a new record, uh, you will of course clean it, and then you will of course play it and enjoy the music. But in my case, when you have a cartridge uh, like this Regulus 2 that costs a little money, um, you want to like preserve it as long as possible. And I've been reading a lot about this cartridge online. Some people say that it will last around 1000 to 1500 hours. If that is possible or not, I actually have no idea. So what I am doing is that I'm using a software, a timer, so every time I play, I press start, and every time I stop to play, I press stop. Yeah, very 
extremely easy. So all my new records uh, that I clean, I play on this turntable, the Riga Planer 1. So that is the first purpose of having two turntables. All right, so now we come to the next one. Okay, so here we are, and this is the other turntable that I have. As you can see, this is just an ATLP60, the old kind of model. Uh, it sounds uh, extremely good for the price, and it has start button, stop button, up and down. This is an older, older model, and this older, older model have these rectangular buttons here. The new ones that will have like round buttons here. Even the platter on on the uh, new one is uh, a little thicker, I think. Uh, at least that's what I have seen on the uh, on the videos online. So let's open this lid, and as you can see, it, it's a cartridge that it's uh, integrated, so you cannot change anything. And it's an 8306L uh, uh, conical stylus on this one, and uh, it's a very good uh, turntable. You can upgrade the stylus by changing it to a elliptical. Uh, I think LP Gear has one. Uh, I don't think it's worth it on this turntable. This one sounds pretty good as it is. So. So what is the purpose of this? Yeah, the purpose of this is that I actually use this turntable when I buy second-hand vinyl. Because second-hand vinyl sometimes, even if you clean them, they will have a lot of uh, pops. Uh, you know, they are worn out after all these years. So if I play this uh, second-hand, on my Reg Rega Planer 1, what will happen is that that stylus will also worn out much faster. Uh, so what I'm actually doing is I'm using this turntable here to play my second hand uh, clean records on. And in some cases, if you are very lucky, you can find second hand LPs and uh, that are actually like new, and of course I will play them on the other one. But for the majority of the second-hand LPs that you buy, they will have uh, pops and clicks and yeah, you know how it is. So all of those records, they go on this turntable, which is not, it's not a bad turntable. And uh, that's how, how it is. So yeah. That is the reason for this video, to explain the purpose of having two turntables. So, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I see you soon again. Thank you.